Uh, hello, everyone out there watching YouTube. Um, it's been a while since I've made a video, so I thought I would make a video on how to test these uh, distributors. Um, all three of them are from uh, a Chevy, a Chevy engine, a V8 to be exact. Um, this one right here on the left is an HEI distributor. Um, and then these two here are uh, throttle body uh, distributors, TBI. Um, these two here were uh, uh, common in uh, the late 80s all the way through to 95, I think, or 94. I'm not sure. And then this one here uh, was late 70s, mid 80s, I think. I'm not sure on that either, but um, anyway, I'm going to show you how to test these. Uh, these two uh, need an external uh, coil to run, and that external coil looks a little something like that. Zoom in on that there and take a look. And then the HEI right here has a coil built in to the cap. It's got the vacuum advance canister on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, get everything set up. We're going to test the, uh, the throttle body uh, distributors first, TBI, and then uh, the HEI will be in a different video. So let me go ahead and get everything set up, and I'll be right back. Alright, um, I'm back and I have everything all wired up. Um, what I'm going to do first before I do anything is uh, I'm going to give you a quick rundown on um, what I've done here. So, this wire right here is the positive coming from the battery and it comes into the coil here and then it runs down and goes into the coil and then this plug here comes out of the coil runs over and then goes into the distributor and these wires here are just for the computer um, this distributor does require a computer to run and then I have my ground wires going from the distributor all the way down and around to the coil and then on this side right here I have another ground coming over and this one I will hook to the negative on the battery so now with everything powered up here I'm going to get these spark plugs set up here Okay, just like that. Then with everything powered up, cut some of these wires real quick. Nothing's getting hot, so we shouldn't have a malfunction of any kind. So with a rag, I will grab the gear, the cam gear on the distributor, and I will turn it. And you can see the spark plugs there. Wiring. Okay. So, there you go. So, this coil and this distributor and everything here works. Got a little bit of a side arc there on that one spark plug. Okay. And then unplug my negative wire there. So, um,. You can test these distributors out of the vehicle, um, you know, before you put it in. Uh, if you have a coil, like I do, uh, just laying around, you can test it before you put it into the vehicle. Um, whichever way you want to do it, you can test it in the vehicle, or you can test it the way I did. But, um, yeah, you can make these uh, spark without the computer. The only thing is that... Uh, you need the these wires here for the computer to do the advance 
on the distributor uh, when you rev up the motor. But just for testing purposes and stuff, you can get them to spark without the computer. So I uh, hooked up that ground wire again. And again with the rag. Let's do that one more time. That's a... Ow! Damn! That hurt. That's a pretty good spark there, too. Um, yeah, like I said, you want to be careful doing this. But, anyway, there you go. Everything's working. Both plugs are firing. So, okay. Undo that ground wire again. So, there we go. So anyway, uh, that's how you test a throttle body injection distributor out of a Chevy 305-350 V8 engine. Um, if you like this video and you found it helpful, um, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And um, I'll uh, post more videos. So, alright. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, too, if you have any questions. All right.